When it comes to simulators that I played, there's one that I have fond memories of, and that's Flight Simulator 98. Although I loved the simulator for what it was, it wasn't until I bought this add-on that I started to really love and fly it around the world. Pro Flight 98 added so much life to Flight Simulator 98 that it became one of my most prized possessions. Let's talk about this awesome package. It all starts with this beautiful box, which is not your typical cardboard box. It's slick, it's smooth, it's shiny, and I love it. It's advertised as the most significant upgrade for Microsoft Flight Simulator in years, and I wholeheartedly agree with that. So what is it? Well, it is basically an adventure planner. You create the flight plan of where you want to start and end your flight, and ProFlight will fill in everything in between and create ATC interaction to guide you on your journey. It also includes a flight management computer, alternate panels for the Cessna 737 and Learjet, and even a new Boeing 777-300 airliner that you can fly. Inside the box, we have a well-put-together manual, which includes the CD, a notice to airmen with important information, and all the other information you need to get the most out of PF-98. Once you put the CD in the drive, you are greeted with the installation window and immersive sound to get you excited. From here, you'll want to install the official patch for Flight Simulator 98 if you haven't already. You'll also need to install the Flight Shop Converter, unless you've already installed from another source. You'll also find two videos that you can watch. One which is Jet Age, an advertisement for an expansion that gives you five different Boeing jets with 25 different liveries. The other is the next generation. Engage. No, not that one. Uh, Tower Concord 330, we'd like a full performance departure if possible. Yes, this one. An expansion that gives you five aircraft models with 24 liveries, moving maps, flight directors, and an EFIS controller. Installation was tested and works fine on Windows 98 and XP within VMware, and I assume it works with Windows 95, but I didn't test it. Hard drive space shouldn't be an issue in this day and age, so I recommend installing the complete option. Starting the program, you get this nifty welcome page and sound effect to get you even more excited about your upcoming adventure. From here, you have a virtual notebook with tab sections that will take you through each stage of the adventure creating process. But first, you'll want to go through the options. Whenever you want to change the options, it will ask you for the CD to verify that you are a legit owner of the program, so don't sell your CD! Once it verifies your CD, the first option tab you come to is Voices. This allows you to select how many voices you hear during your adventure. PF98 comes with six voices, so be sure to select that one. You can have a total of 15 different voices in PF98, including your own voice. If you are okay with recording 469 voice files, that is. If you already have ProFlight 2000 or ProFlight Emulator, then you'll be able to use some of those voice wave files in ProFlight 98. It takes work, but it can be done. And I think it's worth the extra effort. Tower, Bonanza, 1, 2, Niner, 7, Whiskey, ready for takeoff. Bonanza, 1, 2, 9, 7, Whiskey, cleared for takeoff, fly runway hit. Roger, clear for takeoff. Bonanza, 1, 2, Niner, 7, Whiskey. The following tabs allow you to fine-tune the ATC realism, whether your aircraft has moved to the starting airport, folder locations, chatter options, and adding modules that allow PF98 to work in conjunction with other products such as Flight Director and Real ATC. Once your options are set, it's time to start planning. You can enter your pilot name, call sign, whether your aircraft is heavy or not, the name of the aircraft or airliner you are flying, and the departure time for the adventure. Those options determine which wave files are played to identify you, such as Cessna 56 Bravo or American Airlines 3228 Heavy. The last thing to select on this page is the type of aircraft you are flying and its flight characteristics, which will determine how your flight plan is generated. You'll want to choose the aircraft that is closest to what you are flying, otherwise you could get wonky results if you select Cessna and choose to fly a 737 instead. You can always install new aircraft specifications later. 
On the next tab, you can decide to generate random weather for your departing and arrival airports with a simple click of a button if you're wanting to make your adventures more adventurous. You can also ignore this and set your weather in Flight Simulator directly or use an external program such as Flight Director if you set it up in the options previously. Moving to page 3, this is where you will create your flight plan by selecting your starting, ending, and alternate airports. You can search by airport ID or by the name of the airport. Be sure to make note of the frequencies on this page because they'll be helpful during your flight. You also have options to add NDBs and intersections to your flight plan, as well as SIDs and STARS and whether your flight plan is VFR or IFR. You can also select from a drop-down which voice you want to use for your pilot's voice. This is the voice of Pilot 1. This is the voice of Pilot 2. This is the voice of Pilot 3. This is the voice of Pilot 4. This is the voice of Pilot 5. This is the voice of Pilot 6. If you installed additional voices such as your own, they will be selectable here. Otherwise, you'll hear this. Select this pilot only if you have installed a custom voice. Select this pilot only if you have installed a custom voice. The next step is to generate your flight plan, which will bring up another window showing all the neat work behind the scenes. You'll then come to the next tab, which gives you all the juicy details of your flight. If by chance you have more waypoints than what fit on this page, clicking the Waypoint Info tab again will show the next set of waypoints. If you're not happy with the flight altitude, you can make some more adjustments by recalculating the flight plan and entering the altitude for the waypoint or waypoints that you need. After that, it's time to save your flight plan. You may or may not have this option depending on which version of PF98 you buy, but if you don't, you'll want to download the ProFlight 98 patch number 1 from FlightSim.com. I highly recommend it. To wrap things up, you can select a new panel for your aircraft if you wish. You can choose an enhanced 737 panel, an enhanced Learjet panel, a nicer panel for your Cessna, or a broken one if you prefer living your life on the edge. Select your options, run the personalization wizard, and you're all set. The last step is to compile your adventure. Flight service, airport 135. I'd like to file the attached flight plan. As long as there are no errors, you'll be given this positive uplifting message. Air Force 13 Fox Flight Service, your flight plan has been filed. Contact clearance on 121.7. Be sure to jot down that frequency number he gave you too, because that'll be where you start the adventure. It's not always the clearance frequency. It could be ground, tower, multicom, or even unicom. I am Unicron. No, not Unicron, Unicom. Once you're in Flight Simulator 98, it's a simple matter of pulling up the list of adventures and selecting the new one you just created. You'll be placed at the departure airport unless you uncheck that in the options, and you can start here or slew anywhere at the airport, such as a terminal, and begin there instead. Contact the frequency that you were given when the message was compiled, click Control Shift 0, and you are on your way to adventure. Clearance, Air Force One Three Foxtrot at the terminal IFR with information hotel. Roger, Air Force One Three Foxtrot cleared as filed. Fly runway heading maintain four thousand. Expect ten thousand ten minutes after departure. Squawk six zero one five departure frequency one two five point zero five. Roger, fly runway heading maintain four thousand. Squawk six zero one five. ProFlight 98 will give you full ATC coverage from clearance, ground, tower, departure, center, arrival, and random air chatter. Departure, Air Force One, three, Foxtrot, out of three, thousand, four, four, thousand, IFR. Roger, Air Force One, three, Foxtrot, radar contact, turn right, heading two, five, five, join the zero, seven, five, radial inbound to Delta, Alpha, Alpha, Lima maintain, eight thousand. Roger, Air Force One, three, Foxtrot. Approach Challenger, four, zero, Zulu, at 7,500, squawking, two, three, five, one. Challenger, four, zero, Zulu, turn right, heading one, five, zero. Air Force One, three, Foxtrot, cleared for the ILS, runway two, five, right, approach contact tower on one, one, niner, point niner, five, one, established. Roger, out of 4,000, until established on the ILS, runway 25, right, Air Force 1, 3, Foxtrot. Noble, 306, contact departure on 125.9 or 5. 
Roger, 125.95, double What ProFlight doesn't do is give you specific taxi instructions, and it also doesn't know when you've reached the departing runway. You'll need to be proactive and switch the tower and request permission to depart. Tower, Air Force One Three, Foxtrot, ready for takeoff. Air Force One Three, Foxtrot, cleared for takeoff, fly runway hit. Roger, cleared for takeoff, Air Force One Three, Foxtrot. Even with these minor setbacks, I can't recommend this program highly enough. I simply can't fly without it, and it adds a new level of immersion to an already great simulator. Don't forget that this package comes with a new plane that you can fly, the 777-300 Cathay Airliner. It comes equipped with a flight management computer, and that same computer is available on the Enhance panel for your other 737s and Learjets. If you are familiar with FMCs, then you'll feel right at home with this one. If not, there's a detailed section in the PF-98 manual dedicated to the computer that would be too much information to go into this video. If you're familiar with ProFlight 2000, ProFlight Emulator PFE, or ProFlight 3 PF3, then you should feel right at home with this program because this is where the magic all started. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to check out others that I have. I make new videos all the time and every day has a different theme here on Killer Television, so be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell to be informed of any new content that I upload. I also do live streams over on Twitch throughout the week, and you can support me on Patreon to get access to some killer bonuses and rewards. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you on another video. Have a killer day!